Coming to paperback and Kindle Unlimited, Isis, All That Glitters. The Goddess Next Door takes on a bikini-clad bank robber in this action-packed, all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, All That Glitters, in paperback and Kindle Unlimited this March. I took a trip down to the Schomburg Center's Black Comic Book Festival in Harlem today, and I had a great time. And what really put a smile on my face was seeing so many kids at this comic book festival and so many kids being exposed to African-American fantasy and science fiction. Now, as anyone knows who has watched this channel on the regular, I have been pushing for more kids to be exposed to black fantasy and science fiction because the earlier you expose kids to fantasy and science fiction at an early age, the chances are they're going to stay with the genre and they're going to start seeing the world from a black perspective and start imagining themselves in a world where they see a future with themselves in it. So that's one of the things I was very happy to see was seeing all of those schools going to this festival and seeing a lot of these kids being taken to the seminars and the place was practically jam-packed in some areas. The auditorium was full for one of the uh, panels, so we couldn't get into one of those. But I was able to walk around the vendor tables, and that was something I really enjoyed doing because I saw so many brothers and sisters making, putting their work out there and sharing their work with readers. And I took a minute to go to some of the tables, and I have a small haul from the Black Comic Book Festival. I, I, the first thing I bought was Nowhere Man from Forward Comics. Um, this was Nowhere Man from Forward Comics. This is the first book in the series, and I'm looking forward to reading this, and I'm also going to do a review on it um, in a couple of weeks. This is the first book that I bought at the Comic-Con, well, the second, actually, and I talked to the creator for a while, and I really am looking forward to reading this. I'm looking forward to reviewing it. The second book I bought was one I had heard a lot of good things about. Uh, Chris Miller has talked about this book in his videos. And when I saw this book at the Black Comic Book Festival, I said I definitely have to get it. I was going to buy the individual issues, but the one of the people who was created, created the, the series, they showed me an Ultimate Edition, and I said I'm just going to buy this because, one, it's a hardcover, and two, it's got all the issues in it, so they won't get damaged. So this is Black Sands, and this one is a manga-style book which features the Egyptian gods. And I, after reading the first issue online, I was very excited about this book. So I, I definitely said I was going to get this because, again, I read that first issue, and it, it just had me hooked. And now I get to read the other three issues the other two issues along with it. So this one, this was a purchase I'm definitely eager to read, and that's a purchase I'm definitely eager to review. Now I've got some uh, some footage of the Comic-Con. I made a vlog, and that footage will be coming up in a minute. And I'm looking for, I'm hoping forward to going back to this Comic-Con because uh, I see that there's a big audience there of brothers and sisters, and it's a great opportunity to share my work with readers. Now, this is a show that I definitely want to do it next year or possibly the year after because, I, as everybody knows, as the I'm a publisher of SJS Direct. I've published the ISIS series, the E-Steam series, and the John Haynes series, The Temptation of John Haynes and the Spinsterella Trilogy. I have a big catalog of African-American fantasy and science fiction. And I would love to do this Black Comic Book Festival. And I've, I've inquired about it so that you may see me there either next year or the year after. And this is something I definitely want to do in the future. But today, I've got some vlog footage, and I'm going to share that with you right now. Okay, I'm outside the Schomburg Center getting ready to go to the Black Comic Book Festival. And I'm going to show you some footage when I go in. Thank you. 
Ah. You bought another car? I think they say more vendors up there. So. Yeah, upstairs and downstairs. There's plenty of us. Crowd than I anticipated. <laughs> 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 so, I'm sorry. So if you like uh, sci-fi, if you like uh, cotton dramas, I think you would like this stuff. Oh, that's great. That's interesting. Oh. Is it the first book in the series? And it's the first volume. Yeah. Okay. I'm <laughs> 
So we want the from this one. We also want some other ones as well. Stop it, cut from the sci fi action thriller. About a cop, this New York City who gains power to the gods for the future. Oh, okay. How much for this one? So uh, this one is about 20. This is why I'm as well. Can we get both together and give you a discount? Because um, I have my own YouTube channel, I, I talk about science fiction and things. Um, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a vlog on the show. So. Very nice, very nice. You have to pick it up and uh, get in your room back. Right. I think I got a few minutes. Um, so, what inspired you to create this um, show, this um, graphic novel? Yeah, so. Um, no More Man is a series I've been thinking about for a while. I had the idea for a while. And I was inspired by the fact that we needed more uh, new and original characters introduced into pop culture. So the story actually follows Jack McGuire, a pop based in New York City who gains powers through technology for the future. He's trying to learn how to use him responsibly, but he has a lot of his own personal hang ups he's working through. But essentially, he can evolve to become the very first superhero of his time. Oh, okay. It sounds interesting. It sounds similar to something what I'm trying to do with my own characters um, on my own public SJS direct publishing imprint. Yeah, I mean, it's great to be inspired, right? And, and yeah. now it's a really good time for us to come up with new characters, new ideas, new concepts, and put them into the world. And what kind of sort of responses? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do myself. So far, the response to No One has been great. We actually won a Black Comic Award as a best male character. Okay. And we also won some other distances as well, so I'm probably really liking what we're doing. Okay, that's great. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I might come back and pick one up. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I might come back for one. Hmm? Well, I'll see. I've heard a lot about these. These have gotten very good reviews on them. Um, I've looked at the digital versions of these. Yeah. Um, Definitely want to pick these up. These are these got very good reviews. And then we have the anthology too, where we combine issue one to three and one hardback cover. Okay. Yeah. All right, great. How much for this one? All right, that's great. So I mean, I've heard really good reviews on this one too, from guys like Chris Miller. Yeah. And. I can get a chance to talk about it on my channel. Oh, nice. Very nice. Right. So I definitely want to buy one of these. Okay. And you get four free book cards too. Okay. How are you doing today? Right. Good. You have a bag? Uh, all right, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. I heard very good things about this one. <laughs> All right. Yes. I'm sorry. I think it. Oh, yeah. All right, that's a surprise, but it's no surprise to me. But that's the way it is. They say fan black fantasy is growing, so. Yeah. That's me. 
No, it's about. I'm still looking. I'm just looking around. I think I've seen just about it. So. Right. Thank you.